Well, hello. Welcome back for Newton's Toy Box Activity 3. Some of you are, have already started Activity 1 and 2, and you're going to see some information in Activity 3 that is a review. Some of you are starting Activity 3 for the first time, and that's okay. You'll use this information again, and you will see some more information given to you for Activities 1 and 2. Well, on with Activity 3. Moving masses. You will describe the relationship between mass and weight. You will observe the relationship between force and acceleration, and you'll observe the relationship between force and mass. Some vocabulary that you'll be experiencing with this activity are acceleration, mass, weight, gravity, and Newton's second law of motion. Again, for those of you who have already done Activity 1 and Activity 2, you'll see some repetition here in our vocabulary. That's an indication that those are some important words. Remember, you should be putting these in your science notebook. You need the word, the definition, and a picture might be really helpful with your remembering, remembering what the definition is. Mathematics. Well, in case you haven't figured it out, Physical science uses a lot of math to help us make sense of what is going on around us. Our first equation that we will be using is force equals mass times acceleration. We always represent force with a capital F, but mass and acceleration are both represented with a lowercase m and a lowercase a. Using a spring scale. The one of the tools you'll be using today is a spring scale. We have two different kinds that we will be working with. One is our blue spring scale, and that one is will only measure up to 2.5 newtons. This is, will be used for objects that have a lower mass. Our yellow spring scale, it can be used to measure up to 50 newtons. This will be used for objects that have a greater mass. You can see in the springs here that this one has a thicker spring and it doesn't move quite as easy. This one has a thinner spring and it moves much easier. We always use a spring scale by holding it by the top loop. Anything that we want to measure the force of Newtons on, we hang from the bottom hook. But before we can start, we always have to make sure that our spring scale is balanced or zeroed, just like our balances that we used in our other labs. You can see on here that we have a little bit of a scale going on. So the first mark over here in Newtons measures at 0 0.25, then 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and down to 1.0 Newtons. To adjust this, we want to make sure that the top of this blue disc inside the tube is equal to zero. As you can see, it's a little bit high. So we're going to turn this nut here at the top so that we can loosen it just a little bit. I might be going the wrong way. As we loosen it, you should see that disc start to move, and it's going to move down just a little bit. Well, we don't know how much until we hold it by the top. Oops, I went too far. Got to go back the other way just a little bit. Again, we won't know if it's right on until we hold it by the top. Still looks a little low. There we go. Now we're on zero. Next, you will take the object that you want to measure the amount of mass or newtons on. The object that I have here is a wooden ball inside a bag. And I've looped the top of the bag just a little bit so that it's not real tight. And we're going to hang it on the bottom of the hook. To get the accurate measurement again, we need to remember to hold it by the top. We also have to make sure that the bag and the ball, nothing is touching any other surfaces or areas. And then we take a look at the scale that's printed on the side to measure how many newtons. For this particular um, object, this weighs 0 0.25 newtons. With your lab activity, you will get to practice using the spring scales quite a bit. Make sure you take turns with your partners. Also, again, 
Don't forget to zero that spring scale before you start. All right, this activity, we have a big confusion to clear up, and that is, what is the difference between mass and weight? Are those two things related to each other? Are they the same thing? Can mass change while weight remains the same? Can weight change while mass remains the same? And I have a picture here for you of an astronaut. In the top picture, the astronaut is standing on Earth on top of the scale, and its scale registers that he weighs 100 pounds. The bottom picture shows an astronaut on a scale, but he's on the surface of the moon. Exact same person, same suit, same everything, but it registers only 16 pounds. Hmm, I wonder what the difference is between those two measures. Lastly, before you come to lab tomorrow, I would really like for you to make a couple of predictions. You will be dropping two spheres. One is made of wood and has a lower mass. The other is made of metal and it has a greater mass, but both are the same shape and the same size. Please write down what you think is going to happen. What do you think will happen when you drop both spheres at the same time from the same height? I will be interested to see what you think is going to happen. Well, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Activity 3.